In this video, I'll show you how to create PDF output in a Sphinx documentation project using LaTeX on Linux. I've written a blog post on this topic, so if you would like to have more information or if you would like to copy the commands that are used, I recommend you read that blog post. I'm using the latest version of uh, Linux Mint in this tutorial now. If you, you can also do this on um, Ubuntu 20.04 or distributions that are based on Ubuntu. Okay, first we will need to install some software. This includes the Python 3 VNF module that we will use to create virtual en uh, environment, the latex packages and some fonts. Now, if you wish, you can install them one by one using a software manager that is included in Linux Mint. But the quickest way when installing multiple packages is to use uh, apt on the command line. So I'll use that method today. So first, let's update the package cache. The command for that would be sudo space apt space update. Once that's done, use sudo space app space install and then followed by the list of packages separated by a space. The backslash is used to split a long command line into multiple lines. Press enter. This will take some time to complete. Once the software packages are installed, we can proceed towards creating a Sphinx project. If you have a project already, then you can skip this step and proceed towards building the PDF. I will start by creating a directory for the project. So make their space Sphinx minus PDF minus demo and um, then change into it using CV. I'll now create a Python virtual environment using Python 3 space minus m space vnv space vnv now minus m uh, is used to indicate the module we'd like to use in this case vnv and uh, the last vnv is the directory name of the virtual environment okay so if i use ls i can see that the virtual end has been created now to activate, I'll use the command source space vnv slash pin slash activate. You can uh, see the vnv is now included in the prompt. So the virtual env is now active. Okay, before installing Sphinx from PyPy, let us update the Python build tools. It is good to do this whenever uh, we create a uh, new Python uh, virtual environment because these uh, tools, that is pip, setup tools, and wheel will be uh, used for installing additional packages from uh, PyPI. So it is better to have the latest versions of these packages. Okay, to update them is simple. Uh, use pip space install minus u, that's uppercase u, space pip space setup tools space wheel. So all the packages one after the other separated by space. Press enter. Now to install Sphinx, the, using the same method, use um, pip space install space Sphinx and press enter. Sphinx is now installed. Now we can uh, proceed towards creating a new Sphinx project. To do that, I'll uh, use the Sphinx minus quick start command. Now this command will prompt for some information about the project before it proceeds to creating, creating the project. Okay, uh, it, it first asks if you would like to separate source and build directories. Prefer to have them separate, so I'll uh, type Y and then press enter. 
For the project name, I will use Sphinx PDF demo. I will uh, specify my name under author names. For the project release, I will use point one for now. And uh, for the project language, I'll use the default, which is English, and then press enter. Once uh, that's done, uh, the uh, project has been created. We can start uh, building this project. Now, the fastest way to preview a Sphinx project is to build the HTML version of the documentation. So uh, you can do that using uh, make HTML, that is make space HTML. And then open the HTML file. So if you go to the build directory and then the HTML directory and then open the index.html in that folder, you can see the HTML version of the documentation. Okay, to build, let's build the PDF. So to build the PDF, you just need to run make uh, latex PDF. So it's make and then a space and then latex PDF. So you run that command. This will take a, a little longer than uh, when compared to the HTML. So once complete, the PDF file will be in the build and LaTeX folder. So open the Sphinx PDF demo .pdf file in that directory. Since uh, we haven't added any content yet, it, uh, it will be empty. So let's go ahead and add some content. I will create a new file and um, copy some content in RST format. You can find this in the, in the linked blog post. I'll uh, save this file as uh, sample.rst in, in the source uh, directory of the project. Okay, now I'll need to add this to the table of contents in the in the index page. So under the TOC tree directive, I just add the name of the file without the extension. So I'll just type in sample. I'll save the file and then rebuild the documentation by running the same command again. So make LaTeX PDF. And now if I go back to the file, you can see the sample chapter has been added to the documentation. So that's how you build a PDF from a Sphinx documentation using LaTeX. So I've given you the list of packages you need to install to get this working on Linux Mint or Ubuntu or uh, related systems. It should also work on other, other Linux distributions if you have, um, if you can get these packages installed from Package Manager. So uh, in a future tutorial, I'll um, show you how you can do this on uh, Windows uh, as well.